what is up everyone welcome to aslam the toy live if you are watching this on my youtube channel it's probably the recorded version but welcome hope you guys are having an awesome monday so a few days ago i did a video inside our training group and uh, you know it was on the same topic it ended up being about a one hour video there was a lot of interaction and uh, it was quite obvious that you know a lot of people wanted this sort of information so i thought i'm going to do this live video on my on my fan page so if you are watching this on youtube you know hop over to aslam the toy live on facebook you'll catch more videos on there okay and uh, you know this video is all about you know building your brand on social media you know a few years ago i had a i had a business i got into the fast food franchise business and the thing is when you get into business you know no one really teaches you how to do marketing you kind of just learn things on your own so we would basically advertise in local newspapers and uh, it was just a case of you know spend the money make sure your name's out there and customers will come to your store and uh, you know it works a lot differently on social media but what happens is when people get into business and uh, they get into online business especially network marketing i got into network marketing about 5 years ago uh, you tend to use the same techniques or the same tactics you would use with a traditional business people tend to then just take it over to social media and they expect that you know if they just duplicate the same thing they'll get the same results while on social media it works a lot differently you know you've got to make sure that that your profile is attractive so today's video i'm going to try and keep it very short i'm going to switch over to a uh, to presentation uh, just so show you some powerpoint slides uh, but uh, basically it's all about your social media profile you know is your profile attracting or repelling your potential customers or prospects i am speaking about a personal profile i will do another video you know if need be on a business profile just to show you how to set it up but the principles are pretty much the same you know so I, i'm just going to hop over onto sharing my screen over here Okay, there we go. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to check that I am getting a great reception on the Facebook fan page. Okay, just make sure that everything's cool. All right, awesome. It seems fine. I'm sharing my screen over here. Okay, cool. So everything seems fine. So your social media profile is a business tool and you've got to see it as a business tool. Okay. Because if you only uh, see it as uh, you know, just, uh, you know, uh, you don't see it as an asset, obviously it's going to become a liability and people do business with those that they know, like, and trust. Okay. So is your social media uh, profile attracting or repelling your prospects? It's your digital business card. And before we get into, uh, you know, the details, here's what you can expect. It's about how to grow your audience because your first appearance uh, counts. You need to make sure your profile isn't repelling people. How do you set up your profile so it's attractive, professional, and creates curiosity for new visitors? And how do you avoid the pitfalls that repel people from your profile? Okay. And most network marketers are making these mistakes. So how do you stand out and, uh, you know, be different? And then how do you start attracting prospects to you and build a network of followers who can also become future team members for you? So let's first go into what not to do on your social media profile. Okay, so firstly, avoid being a digital billboard for your company's products. So this is what most people will do. They join a new network marketing company or they open a traditional company, a traditional business. And, uh, you know, if the person's selling tents, then all they do is they just post a whole lot of pictures on the social media profile about tents, you know, pictures of tents. So people can't really relate to you. Okay. Uh, then there's tons of links and posts to your profile to buy your products or join your team. You know, you're normally branding your network marketing company all over your profile. So the company name is all over. Guys, stop doing that. Okay. I've even seen, uh, you know, some people have the name of the network marketing company along with their own name. So you would have something like John, the name of the MLM, and then Jacobs, you know. You need to brand you. 
okay and then avoid having commission breath uh of desperation okay so your profile it's your digital business card here's the game plan we're going to speak about your profile picture your cover photo your about me section uh what you should be posting and then uh you know cleaning time on the right hand side there you know i really love this guy if you've never followed gary vaynerchuk awesome awesome guy this is like the go-to guy when it comes to social media marketing and uh, you know if you go onto his profile you will very rarely see or even know what it is that is actually marketing and that's how we should uh, you know if you want to learn how to do it learn from someone that's a master at doing it so if you if you don't know about him or you, if you're not following definitely hop over you know like his pages uh, you know follow his content i love what he, you know what he puts out there so pro two people need to first know you like you and trust you before they will buy from you so let's start number one with your profile picture you only get one chance to make the first impression guys okay so you want to have a smiling picture you know a headshot a happy picture of yourself it needs to be a clear picture guys uh, no picture of your company logos or products or anything like that no pictures of your dog your cat your aunt your uncle none of that people are doing business with you so they first need to know who you are and they need to identify with you very, very quickly okay uh, now i've put a picture there of will smith and uh, you know i took this off his fan page now you know uh, uh, in 2019 he had a couple of movies that came out there was aladdin you know there was uh, the one I, I just watched last night ironically uh, uh what was it called gemini man okay but when you go to their profiles to any actor right you will very really see them put a picture of the movie that they that they uh, you know that they appearing in because it's not about branding the movie it's about branding the person so he put a picture there of himself it's not a picture of a movie why because he's got because he tells the movie not the other way around okay so you selling the company so people need to get to know who you are Okay, another pro tip, if you can afford it, you get a professional photo shoot done once or twice a year with pics that you can use throughout the year, you know. It keeps your profile fresh, okay, and, uh, you know, also download things like uh, Canva, Scree, uh, what's this one uh, called, Snapsy. So the, those are really awesome uh, apps that you can use on your phone uh, just to spruce up your, your pictures and so they look great. I mean, the picture that I took over here, this was a picture that I... I was on holiday in Mexico. I took a, a photo in a, in a nightclub and uh, I just used one of these apps just to clear it up, uh, you know, so that it looks nice. So, you know, smiling picture, people know who I am and they know exactly who they're speaking to. Okay, onto your cover photo. So, yeah, you can add some motivational quotes if you want to your cover area. Make sure as well that it's a clear picture uh, and then speak to your brand, you know, put a motto or, uh, uh, you know, a saying that you like. Okay, no logo names or company names once again. Uh, you can also put your family uh, pictures over here, maybe pictures of your friends. Uh, this is mine. This is the picture I'm using at the moment. So the one on the left is the current one. And, uh, you know, the, the two pictures are basically from a professional photo shoot that I had done a little over 12 months ago. And the other one was a picture I took on the beach or on a beach in Mexico. Uh, so that's kind of my, uh, you know, my cover photo, but I, I changed it previously. It was the one on the right hand side, you know, just had my name and it was a very professional looking photograph. Uh, so, you know, just, uh, you know, uh, use PowerPoint. I, the one on the right, I did it in PowerPoint. I just spruced it up in PowerPoint, uh, you know, put the name there and then I just saved it as a picture and I just loaded it up onto my cover photo. Awesome. Then your about me section, right? So the about me section needs to create curiosity, all right? People ideally shouldn't, you know, they shouldn't know exactly what it is you do. You know why? Because you want them to reach out to you so that, you know, they need to be curious. Like they need to be asking themselves, so what is this all about? Okay, so uh, add a call to action there as well. Maybe you can add a call to action to your business page. This is where they get to know the business side of you. Uh, you know, and they get rid of info that doesn't apply to you anymore. Remember, first impressions last, and you only get one chance to make that first impression. Make it easy for people to find you, okay? I still find a lot of people that uh, maybe they don't know this, uh, but you'll find some profiles don't have an ad friend, uh, uh, you know, option. So if you're trying to do business off your personal profile, if people can't friend you, you know, how, how are you going to do business with them? 
because how Facebook basically works is if you aren't friends with someone, I notice that if I send someone a private message who isn't a friend of mine, very often they don't even see those messages because they're not a friend of mine. So uh, somehow they, I don't know, somehow I think it goes to like another mailbox or something like that. Okay. So make sure your profile is public. Make sure that there's a button on there that, that, that says add friend. You know, uh, you can actually go into Facebook and, you know, you can uh, click on an option where it says view profile as other people are seeing it. So you can either view your profile in edit mode or you can view it as other people see your profile. Okay, so uh, with mine over here, you know, it says the entrepreneur, fitness freak, on a mission to conquer and help others do the same. Uh, found at Aslam the Toy Live. I actually updated this. I've got about three uh, business pages that I'm currently running. So th they are also on there. But this is just where people can get to know you. And uh, it still creates curiosity because it still doesn't tell people exactly what it is that I do. Okay. And that's been helping me a lot. Uh, you know, I've had people uh, of late come to my profile. And I've been getting a lot of, uh, you know, compliments uh, about the profile. People would message me and say, wow, you've really put a lot of work into your profile. It's so motivational. It's so inspirational. Uh, and that never, ever happened before. So, you know, when you make a change, eventually people will notice. And also see, I get a lot more friendly now than I used to get in the past. You know, I was stuck on about, I don't know, like 1,500 friends, 1,700. And I've just gone over 3,000. And a lot of those friend requests are people that have sent friend requests to me. Okay. So it's growing nicely and, uh, you know, building a nice audience over there. So in terms of your posting, this is also where you want to create curiosity. So you might be asking yourself, I'm in network marketing. And you know what? Uh, you, you're wondering, what do I post? Because I've got a lot of network marketers on my personal profile. And when I go through my news feed, it's all spam. It's like, join my company. I'm looking for 20 people to join my team. I'm looking for five people who want to change their lives. It's like all the same stuff. Okay. And people honestly get tired of that. So you want to be leading with lifestyle posts, motivational posts, Facebook lives or recorded videos. And then testimonials, I also do uh, interviews with people and I load it onto my pages. Story posts are really powerful. People love stories, so tell stories and humor. So here's another pro tip that I learned from an eight-figure network marketing uh, top earner. And uh, she basically said, you know, follow a nine-to-one rule where you post 10 times a week. Nine of those posts are value posts where people are getting to know you, your lifestyle. Uh, you know, they're learning something from you. And one post in a week can basically be about your business. So here's a great example. Uh, this is something I did in about August. This post has still done the best for me. Okay. And it was a, a business post. I was telling people about my business, but there was a lot of curiosity that I had basically built around this post. So you'll see there were like 54 comments, 327 views. Uh, and a lot of people sent me private messages as well, asking, you know, what is it that you were talking about in that post? I did this on the 19th of August, and it still generates me leads up until today. So maybe hop over to my personal page, you know, check out that, scroll down to that uh, video, have a look at it. Uh, it was really an awesome one. It really worked well. And guess what? I actually kind of copied this post from uh, someone else uh, who I saw did a very good curiosity post, and I was keen. Uh, you know, to know what he was doing there. And I, I just kind of used, you know, his sort of format and it's really worked for me. Okay. And then your cleanup. So you want to be getting rid of all the old posts that aren't relevant on your profile. Get rid of posts where you posted about your product or your company. Guys, company names, take it off your profile completely. Uh, Facebook memories help. posted this one year ago, two years ago. So uh, it kind of jogs your memory as to what you had on that page. And then create curiosity by telling people what your product does, but don't tell them what it is because you want to be creating curiosity. And then, you know, start reading, learning, and post what you're learning that is relevant to your target audience. So, you know, you're watching this video right now. This is something you could share on your page, okay? It's something that you could teach people on your YouTube channel, okay? And uh, people, when they learn something from you, they immediately start valuing you and they start liking you immediately. Why? Because you've taught them something and you've given them something that they can implement immediately. Okay. And then what you post will either attract or repel people to you. So be very, very careful 
you know, about what it is that you're posting on your profile. So that's kind of what my profile looks like uh, now. That's, you know, I had little snippets of it throughout this video, but that's kind of what it looks like now. So, you know, work on your profile, make sure that it's, you know, it's looking nice and it's, you know, it's a lot more attractive so that people are, you know, are looking to follow you. Uh, you know, I've even been growing my follower base, whereas I didn't have any followers. You know, I've now moved into three digits in terms of number of followers and it's constantly growing every single day. So I've got a free gift for you guys. Okay, I am going to post this in the video itself. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's going to be at the bottom of the video. Grab the free gift. And uh, it's basically just, uh, you know, uh, a checklist. Everything that I just spoke about, it's just a one-page checklist. And it's got some pointers. It shows you exactly what to do on each section. So all five. Okay, so you just go to aslamdetoy.com forward slash Facebook profile checklist. Okay, uh, just, uh, you know, opt in, get your, your, and then check your email. You'll get the free gift. And it'll pointers uh, that you can use immediately today just to spruce up your Facebook profile, whether you want to use it for network marketing, whether you want to use it, uh, you know, for a traditional business. Just use some of the tips, uh, you know, on the checklist. And I promise you, it'll make a huge difference so guys i want to thank you for watching this video if you found it helpful uh, you know definitely share it with a friend uh, if you're not following my channel make sure you, you you know you follow the channel as well i hope you enjoyed this video i'm just going to put this up here again you know so your free gift is at aslamdetoy.com facebook profile checklist uh, you know grab the free gift and i look forward to seeing you guys on the next video Leave a comment below and I'll be sure to also interact with you guys over there. See you soon. Hope you enjoyed it. Have an awesome week.